good morning and welcome to another episode of how's your game with me the blame meister on a monday early how are we going to deal with this what are we going to talk about well let me tell you uh quite a few things to have a chat about i think most importantly we're going to be talking about what's going on at world of warships legends with all the ccs we'll have a little chat about ranked how i found it let me know how you found it talk to me in the comments um things going on in the stream schedule bits and bobs like that and just generally having a chat meanwhile my shimakazi is going to be doing what shimakazis do and making it look easy so strap in grab a cup of tea grab a biscuit butter your toast prepare yourself for a nearly 10 minutes of loveliness or maybe a little bit less and some giggling along the way okay firstly World of Warships PC has had something of a revolt from the CCs. I do believe somewhere in the region of 13 of them have just down tools, said, that's it, I've had enough, and um, decided they don't want to play anymore. So they're not playing Wargaming's game. They've seen the loot boxes that's going on with the Missouri. And as far as they're concerned, that's the straw that broke the camel's back. Little White Mouse, Jingles, Eye Chase, um, Flamu. These, these guys are very well respected there's a bunch of others that I won't go into um, but to be perfectly honest when you look into what's going on and you listen to them and you've heard what's been going on over the last bunch of years and bear in mind that I've followed the likes of Jingles and kept an eye on the likes of Flamu Flambes for years you get an understanding of what they've been going through as content creators and They've been very critical. I mean, Jingles left the World of Tanks community and uh, contributor program for very, very similar reasons. They just didn't have any integrity. And at the time, Ships was being kind of shown as the different team, different business, managed differently. And what's interesting about this is that it's not necessarily the community management team. It's not necessarily even the development team. This is how they physically monetize the game, how they squeeze every last drop of pennies out of the people that are playing the game and fundamentally the kind of players that we are out there that are the community that talk about the game an awful lot that have an active interest in what what's going on in the game we're supposedly the vocal vocal minority now pc is much much larger than legends um it's much much older it has so much more content it's a bigger game it's more complex there's a lot more to it but looking at it from a Legends point of view, and bearing in mind that I'm not somebody who's played the PC version but is aware of how it works and has seen how it works, the simplification that we have on console is to our benefit in this case. There are less means that Wargaming can use to monetize the systems that sit in front of us. The systems they use at the moment in terms of loot boxes are not cheap. They monetize the game in a way that some people feel is over the top, and I do agree that £30 for a ship is quite a lot. It is a bunch of pixels after all. But equally, the costs are up front. They're very open about it. You can't hide it. There is no loot box method in the same way there is on the PC on console. Having said that, should we be concerned because the parent company is the same? Yeah, absolutely. Should we give the P our PC brothers and sisters our support? All the way, totally. Sh if we see people from the PC coming in to try Legends, be that in streams, YouTube, in the game, whatever it might be, give them some love. Um, they've ex had a horrible old time. There's been a bunch of PC players who've come over to console, and I think they should be supported and encouraged to come and play with us. And it is a tough ask. They've spent hundreds and if not thousands and thousands of pounds, dollars, euros, whatever, invested in a game that they love and they feel that they've been mishandled and mistreated. And the CCs have finally said, you know what, we've had enough. This is too much. And they've all down tools. And fair play to them. That's a tough thing to do because a lot of them have good channels, but a lot of it's been built off the back of CCs. And you've seen how some of the CCs on the Legends community have grown. And partly that's got, I mean, a lot of it's down to their content, but it's also down to the fact that they're supported by Wargaming. The fact they come out with ships on the day that they release is a big thing. Um, so I think 
in general and TLDR, support the PC brothers and sisters. Um, I love playing this game. I have a lot of fun playing it. I'm not a super unicum. I'm not a big tryhard. I'm not a massive fan of wargaming. I hated what they did to World of Tanks console um, with the way they changed the game and made it less simulatory, which is why I don't get on with the anime stuff. That's fine. It's not for me. I'm not interested. Other people are. Whatever floats your boat. Things like the carriers, do I like them? No. Do I think they belong in the game? Yes. Do I think they have a function? Absolutely. So, yeah, I think we need to just keep an eye on it. See what Wargaming say, how they respond. And I think we should manage our expectations accordingly. Don't give the CC shit. Don't expect them to back up the PC. Brothers, it is a very different game. Um, But they will be aware of the situation because it is basically a massive PR disaster for Wargaming. And I think, really, if we're lucky, it's going to be something of a wake-up call for them. But we'll see. Only time will tell. Outside of that, we finished Control last Friday, which was pretty cool. Um, love that game. If you haven't played it, it's free on Game Pass. I know it downloaded on PS Plus. Go check it out. It's a load of fun. Give it a play. Yeah, it's awesome and you should play it. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be picking up a Plague Tale Innocence and we're going to be having a crack at that. But that ties into my schedule changing. So next week, this week coming, I'll be streaming on Monday afternoon. I won't be streaming on Tuesday afternoon. I will stream Plague Tale from nine, between 9.30 and 10 o'clock starting till about 11.30. So it'll be a shorter stream and we're playing something different. But let's see how that goes. And then Wednesday evening we'll stream at 8.30. Thursday evening stream at 8.30. Friday may start later because of children. But we will see how we get on. Um, but I've got to thank you guys for supporting me in shifting these... Um, schedules you've been awesome and i appreciate some people aren't able to listen to them it's been weird not streaming in some afternoons but we're getting there and you guys have been amazing and we've had a lot a lot of fun so i do hope we keep doing this and also because i'm doing these videos on these videos on a monday with kind of a talking head kind of thing um, i'm enjoying that i'm enjoying streaming with hive on a monday evening next week i'll be streaming it myself so that's going to be fun but Actually, it's been awesome. I've had a great old time. Thank you ever so much for all the love and support. Outside of that, I'm going to keep trying new things. We're going to keep changing things as they go forward. In a week or two, the stream will be settled into the evening and that'll be it. I look forward to seeing you on stream this afternoon. Come and say hello. Um, I appreciate you all. Don't forget there's a tournament on the 4th of September for Angel that Angel Rambo has put together. Do, do give streamers your support via YouTube, Twitch, whatever and um well let's welcome those pc players who want to come over and mess around on on the xbox and the playstation i hope you have a great week love you all peace love and chickens blame moisture out